Florida is many things. So much more than a warm winter getaway, this state attracts visitors and new residents from around the world. Well known by its picture postcard image, a closer examination reveals this paradise is not without danger. Each passing year brings a new hurricane season and the uncertainty of Mother Nature's wrath. Floridians must prepare themselves and their property, never knowing what the weather may bring. But hurricanes are not the only hazard Florida must face. Every year, thousands of property owners are affected by another natural catastrophe, sinkholes. Some are truly monstrous, devouring whole homes and businesses as the ground collapses into subterranean voids. Most are far less severe, but still cause millions in property damage each year. Unlike hurricanes, we know where this natural catastrophe is likely to happen because the geological conditions that allow sinkholes to develop are very well defined. At the U.S. Geological Survey in St. Petersburg, Florida, scientists have worked to map the areas most likely to be affected. This area is known as the karst terrain. Karst is a word used to describe highly weathered limestone. At one time, the limestone in these parts of Florida was exposed at the ground surface for vast periods of time. The limestone was exposed for so long that water was able to weaken the surface of the rock. Today this rock is overlain with a combination of clays and sands. As rain falls, it picks up pollutants from the atmosphere. At the ground surface, water mixes with tannins from decomposing organics and becomes a weak carbonic acid. After percolating downward through the soil layers, this carbonic acid comes in contact with the karstic limestone, where it dissolves the calcium within the rock, creating a pathway to larger openings deeper in the limestone. These pathways are called solution channels, and they allow soils above the limestone to migrate downward into the rock. This type of sinkhole activity is called cover subsidence, cover being the word used to describe all the soils above the limestone. While some may doubt that a home or business affected by these conditions can be saved, there is a long history of successfully stopping this type of sinkhole from causing further damage. Geological Inc. of Port Ritchie, Florida specializes in sinkhole stabilization. They work to stop sinkholes from further disrupting the lives of property owners. This is demanding work which requires constant focus and sometimes extreme physical effort. The day begins with an explanation of the job ahead. Plans are made and put into action, each member of the team contributing to the cause. The most common method of repair is called compaction grouting. This technique first requires 3 inch diameter steel casing to be drilled into limestone. These drill locations, or grout points, are located on approximate 10 foot centers around the perimeter of a home or building. Every other point is drilled at an angle to direct grout beneath the footprint of the structure. The process of compaction grouting is designed to achieve three goals. First, the voids within the limestone are filled. Then the surface of the rock is sealed or capped with a layer of grout. And finally, to displace soils weakened by sinkhole activity. During the pumping process, line pressures are recorded and the structure is carefully monitored for movement. Compaction grouting is typically stopped within 10 feet of the ground surface. Underpinning is very effective at stabilizing structures and lifting them back to their original elevation. Although underpinning does not address the cause of settling, when done properly it can provide a permanent solution.